question 30. RAM. What does it stand for? Random access memory. Hmm? I'm sorry? You asked a question. The answer is random access memory. Right. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm uh, more than a little distracted today. Can't believe I'm uh, actually getting married tomorrow. OK, well, uh, that's it. Any final questions? Yes. When are you going to open this? Nice. Speech, 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 OK, OK, uh, where to start? Uh, love, exciting and new. Do we really have to I'm hear this? I'm hoping that uh, sooner or Shut later you'll all find that love and recognize that love. And I'm about to throw up. That Somebody's never been in love. love. And you have, Sean? Only two really? With who, exactly? Not ever by any chance. Well, thanks. And remember, breathe. I had to get something for my head. You don't have a cold. No, no, just a headache. OK. OK, I'm trying not to panic, just being realistic. We have a lot to do today before tomorrow. And um, let me just go upstairs and take this first. No. Take it in the car. I'll just run in and out, OK? Then we'll hit the engraver cicadas and home before Caitlin arrives to perm my hair. And don't forget to take your headache stuff. I'll be back before you know it. True love does to exist, JT. Yeah, right. Just because your quest for an older woman has been, like, pointless, it doesn't mean it's not real. Is she real? Hey, I thought you were off today, Emma. I am. I have to turn this into Quan. Miss Quan, one essay, one attendance slip. <laughs> if only all students were as hardworking as you, Emma. So, um, remember a certain someone you dated last year? Sean. Seems he's still in love with you. Sean? In love with me? No. Sean and I dated. We weren't in love. Not what he says. So you have to invite him to the wedding. No, I don't. Sean and I are over, no matter what you heard. Did you hear? Doesn't matter, right? It's over. Right. And I'm late, so butt out. You're still coming over tonight, though, right? Yeah, I guess. OK, bye. Put on your shoes. Hey, Sean. Hey, Manny. So, tomorrow, big wedding. Yeah, I give my best to Miss Nelson. Actually, you can tell her. Emma came by earlier to get some books, and she said this was for you. Emma wants me at the wedding? Yeah, she made me promise I'd, like, get this to you. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Manny. JT, math class is that way. Yeah, I know, but we have a very important pit stop to make. OK. I've been thinking. There are some upsides to love. Emma got the day off. Yeah. Simpson canceled homework. True. And strippers. Because when I think of love, I always think of strippers. Marriage equals stag party equals strippers, which equals tonight. A stripper tonight? Just keep that cool. Craig Man. JP and uh, Tony, what's up? Yeah, it's actually JT and Toby. Um, so we heard that your stepdad is hosting a little get together tonight, huh? Yeah, uh, stag. Right. We were just hoping that maybe we could uh, drop by and maybe wish Mr. Simpson good luck. And if there's a stripper there, we'd love to give her our best. 
No strippers, guys. Simpson told Joey not to get one. What? I... It's like, it's like a rite of passage. It's Simpson's last night of freedom. He can't not have a stripper. I know, I know. It's lame. It's unforgivably lame. So, Craig, you want to do something about it? Let me do the talking, boys. And tonight, it's showtime. She's the one, Craig. She has got to be the one. Down, boy. Yeah, Tobes, gross. But we can get her, right? Always go through down the road. Uh, we're actually here to inquire about Miss Fanny. Fancy. Fancy? If she's available tonight. Yes, for an outside engagement. <laughs> Fancy, don't do no square dance. Come back when you're legal. Wait, no. This is gonna take some very delicate negotiating. Which is why you two are staying here. Hey, Joey. Craig, did you get everything I need for tonight? Almost everything. It's like this. I'm at the store, faced with a choice. Excuse me. Yeah, now do I get, listen, do I get plain boring chips or hot and spicy nachos? So what do you think I got? I don't know, ice cream. I got hot and spicy. Good. Like, say, tonight, plain boring stag event or hot and spicy stag party. <laughs> All it takes is one fancy stripper. <laughs> uh, no, no. Come on. It's a tradition, Joey. Yeah, I know it's a tradition. Yeah, so I... how about it? No, it goes against Snake's wishes, all right? It, it's sexist, it's um. Yeah, but. And it's perfect. You know what? I'm going to embarrass the heck out of him. Fine, but technically, this was your idea. I'm not getting in trouble for it. Angie! I'm going to Grimmauld! Yes, you are. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, so you're sure it'll just be a body perm, right? Like this? And I do this for a living. Yes. Okay, 20 minutes. Are you okay if I go up and have a shower? Yes, just go and relax. Wedding cake. Okay. Just sign here, please. No, no, I go to cut for you. She. Okay. Thank you. Happy bat mitzvah, Rhoda. Mom, major emergency. This cake isn't yours, unless you change your name to Rhoda. Just send it back, no big deal. No big deal. This is your wedding cake. There's way more important stuff going on, Em. Way more important. Yeah, like what? The test is positive. I'm, I'm pregnant. What's wrong? My mom is pregnant. Wow. How did it happen? I mean, I know how it happened, but did they plan it? No. At least I don't think so. Well, it's kind of exciting. 
on some level. How about some good news? Please, anything. Guess who's coming tomorrow? Sean Cameron, your love. I'm not smiling. Manny, I told you no, Sean. I was trying to help. By playing matchmaker, go help and uninvite him. <sighs> okay, but what's that smell? My pearl! Mom! My hair! Your hair! My hair! Honey, it'll be okay, I promise. When? Well... When? After the wedding. I can't put any more chemicals in your hair right now. It'll fall out. I'll get that. I'm gonna be your maid of honor, looking like this. It'll be okay. Hey, how are you? Hi. Good to see you. Hi. I miss you. So, what do you think? Good enough for your wedding party? I love them. I just told you guys, wear whatever you want. We are. It just so happens we both love the same dress. Yeah, we wanted to do it. Come on. Guys, it's just a wedding. Yeah, your wedding to Snake, <laughs> to Archie. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? And what happened? Somebody left my perm solution in too long. Spike, you didn't. I thought you're supposed to be a professional. I am, but getting married is huge. Well, that's why we're here to help. That's right. And to take your mind off things, we're throwing a little girls' night out later. Because if Snake can go out tonight, so can you. That's right. <laughs> That's great. You guys are so great. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> Doing some good work, huh? Huh? Yeah, here, use this. So I thought maybe we'd uh, get out of the city tomorrow. Go up to the space side back roads up near Acton. Nelson as in Emma Nelson? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you got some better plans. Shot! Are you OK? Manny, you okay? Fine. Something wrong? Yeah, sort of. What? God, I've got to be kidding. You remember that invite I gave you? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Sort of a mistake. Sean, I'm really sorry. It's just. Don't, don't worry about it. Sorry. No, no, don't worry. It's, it's no problem. still stands if you want. Yeah. Back. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. good Congratulations. You. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. You look good. Thanks. Good to see you again. Likewise. Um, what is all this stuff? Uh, it's mine. You know, my lease is up at the end of the week, so I'm moving in bit by bit. Don't you have enough to worry about right now? Stay worried? Come on. Oh, that's funny, Jeremiah. Between the wedding and moving in, I'm like a heart attack in motion. Believe it. Oh, oh no. Does it bite? <laughs> wedding gift from my class. It's very, um... Very ugly. I know. Sorry. Um, so guys, what do you got planned for tonight? Doing the typical guy stuff? Scotch, cigars... Strippers? Uh, I told Joey no strippers, right? Nope, nope. We're going bowling. 
Snake, come here, talk to me. Yes, master. Sounds serious. No, no, just sweating stuff. Hey, guys. Hey, Luz. Can you believe this wedding? So, when are you guys going to have a little mini spike or mini snake to add to mini Caitlin over there? <laughs> oh, well, we've discussed it. We uh, definitely want kids. Definitely, and, and who knows? It could happen sooner than you think. Well, I sure hope not. <laughs> just like a man that wants to rush into anything. We got a lot on our plates right now. You know, I've got to settle in, get used to being a husband and a stepdad. Right. Oh, I'm not saying never, just not right now. Hey, you wanted to talk wedding? No, I figured it out. Thanks. I just can't, okay? You know, that kind of sounds to me like you're pregnant, Spike. <laughs> okay. You're pregnant. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, I mean, totally. Look, at least this time you've got someone who loves you. Yeah, someone who's going to be there for you. A guy you. who doesn't want kids. You guys heard him? Yeah. He made where he stands very clear. He doesn't want a kid right now. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Cancel tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, I love Snake, but Emma and I have gotten this far on our own. Maybe, maybe this wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Spike. I'm serious, Caitlin. What are you going to do about the baby? That wasn't meant to happen either. Maybe it won't. Hey, yeah, what's up? Oh, That's the best. Cigars are over there. All right. Start till 2 a.m. Perfect. Have a good time. Thank you. All right. Stay. What's going on, man? Loosen up. It's just that. I'm trying. I'm trying. Here you go. I got something planned for later. Just want to cheer you up, okay? I'll get it. All right. Guys, what's the problem? Well, I haven't cleared you with Joey yet. Look, guys, whatever you're selling, we're not interested in, okay? What are you selling anyways? Actually, we're, uh, we're here for the show. Yeah. Fancy was sort of their idea. Well, really? Oh, in that case, no. What? Come on. No, get out of here. Both of your ages combined would not make you old enough. But how come Craig gets to stay and watch the show? Craig gets to go upstairs in his bedroom and watch TV, okay? But Joey... No! No! No, Nick! No! Look, Craig, we're in the same boat as you, so, you know... So, Sean, you sure he wasn't too upset when you told him? For the millionth time, he wasn't upset. Good. I hope Snake will take his news just as well. My parents have, like, 20 siblings, so I say the more the merrier. Actually, I'd love to have a little brother. Or a sister, I'm not picky. I just, I want it to feel like a family, and a new baby would so do that. Hey, how was your last night as a single woman? Did you guys get all wild and crazy? It was fine. So can I take this off now? Sure. Here. How's it look? I've ruined everything. Hey, Spike. I wouldn't. She's pretty upset. Still? Why don't you stay down here? We'll try and uh, iron it out. I'll just be one minute. 
Okay, I know what you found out is beyond weird, but it's not the end of the world. I'm fine with this, and Snake will be too. We just have to convince him that. Convince him? How? I don't know. How are you convinced me about you two? If I even have this baby. What? We don't want any more kids right now. End of story. End of story for who? You're not thinking of having an abortion. I might. How could you even think of having an abortion? It's a woman's choice. What about the baby's choice? I'm not going to debate this with you. It's my decision, Em. What about Snake? Of course. He'd be a part of it. Yeah, like he's a part of it right now. Emma, you are way out of line. What do you expect me to say? Maybe something supportive. If you had an abortion the first time, I wouldn't be here. Well, if you're in my shoes and made this mistake a second time... Em. No, I didn't mean it that way. Okay. Fancy probably won't be on for a while. But we'll have to stay awake, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll take first shift, you take second. Deal. <sighs> what if we get caught? We won't. And even if we do, what are we doing wrong? I don't know, invasion of privacy? Toby, she's a stripper. Privacy isn't in her vocabulary. Yeah, I guess you're right. She is taking off her clothes. And she's getting paid. Oh, I just wish we were inside. I know. We'll still be closer than either of us have come to seeing a real live naked woman. Except for the time when you walked in on your grandma in the shower. We both agreed that never happened. Right. Come on. Go, 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 go! I'm sure she didn't mean it. She said, same mistake twice. Yeah, but she didn't have an abortion. So? So you were wanted. OK, fine, whatever. But this isn't about me. It's about my future half-brother. Or sister. And what about Snake? Emma. I mean, here we are debating abortion, and he doesn't even know she's pregnant. What if she doesn't tell him? Do not even think of interfering. Don't worry, I'm not that stupid. Good. So let's get some sleep, because tomorrow's going to be a long and wonderful day. Guys, the party started. Hi. Hey. hey. You snake? Why, uh, yes, I am. No, you're not. Oh, come Go, on. Upstairs. Go upstairs now. Hi. Come in. Uh, that snake right over there. Jeremiah. <laughs> it's your party, man. Have fun. <laughs> so, snake. That's an interesting name.
doesn't hate you. If you could have seen the look in her eyes, what was I thinking? Yeah, but you've just been thrown for a major loop. You gotta cut yourself some slack. I need to talk to Archie. Uh, not tonight, though. Right, bachelor party. Not in a state to hear this. He needs to know. And you need to get yourself together, right? Call him in the morning. You can wait. It's gonna be okay. What? Okay, you're mad. I'm sorry. What? What are you doing? I'm calling Spike. Did you fall out of your head? Come on. I told her no strippers, and what happens? I get a stripper. I paid for the whole hour. You were gonna let her go home after 10 minutes. <laughs> Joey, that's not the point. You don't have to tell her every little thing. I've been married before, okay? I just don't like secrets, Joey. It's no big deal. Maybe not to you, but first thing tomorrow, I'm telling her. you doing here? Seeing a stripper and you? Oh. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Come here. Come here, both of you. Where are you going? Get in the house. Both of you. Do you know what time it is? Mr. Simpson, we need to talk. Your parents must be worried sick. My parents? What about us? We miss Fancy. How do you think we feel? Do you think I care? But I'm sure your parents will. I want you both to stay right there. Don't get any trouble. I'm taking you both home. Emma? Is everything OK? I don't even know how to say this. I'll try, because you're giving me a heart attack. OK. Mom is pregnant, and she's thinking of having an abortion. <laughs> now, I'm worried about a stripper, and she's pregnant. Snake, please just listen. Emma, why are you here? Why are you here telling me this? Because you need to know. Why you? Why not your mom? <sighs> why not your mom? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> really, what kind of family is this? You wait here, and Joey will drive you home. This is just great! It's my wedding day, and the groom has disappeared. He's not at his apartment, or at Joey's. He's not answering his cell. I've been trying to reach you. But not yesterday, not last night. No, right, because it was Emma that was looking for me. What? How does information travel in this family? Oh, oh, right, every which way except from you to me. Emma. No, not Emma. This is about you and me. How could you not tell me that you were pregnant? 
We need to talk, but we are not doing it here. We are going to talk about this right now. Not here! Everybody wants something down there. Fuck give up. Everybody wants something. Hey, Em. That's a dumb song. Save the hair time. If we're going to do this, come on inside. I'll give you the shirt off my back. Hey, come on. I know things look bad, but we got to keep going as if the wedding's happening. Here. As if it's happening, which means it's not. Hey, come on. You don't know that. Just forget it. I've ruined everything. Emma. Stop being a baby. Just get ready for the wedding. Manny, mind your own business. Oh, that's funny. Didn't I tell you the same thing last night? I did what I felt was right. Yesterday, you freaked because I talked to Sean. What you did was so much worse. Well, gee, Manny, thanks for the support. What a best friend you are. Guys. Hey, 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 ladies, ladies, take it easy. Everything's going to be fine. I know it. Hey. Don't hit the car. I just found out yesterday. Then you should have come to me. I know. You're from Emma. And an abortion. Do you really think I'd send Emma in the middle of the night to break the news to you? You know, sometimes it's like you and Emma are the couple, not you and me. She's my daughter. You can't expect that I'll just change our relationship. Of course not, but if this is going to work, then some things have to stay private. I don't like secrets, Snake. <laughs> Neither do I, trust me. You sure you're not having doubts? Archie. This all happened pretty fast. We've known each other since junior high. Yeah, as friends. Maybe we're supposed to keep it that way. And these wrestlers today? Oh, Sean, you gotta check this out, man. <laughs> She's hey, Emma. Emma. Great. Sean, I've ruined everything. What are you talking about? I interfered and I ruined everything and I don't even think the wedding's gonna happen and everyone is going to hate me. Emma, you interfering, it's nothing new. Do people ever hate you for it? Maybe behind my back? No, never. So don't worry about it, it'll, it'll all work out. I really, really hope so. Sean. What about what I did to you? It was... It sucked, all right? Manny should have never invited me. I know. I should have. Sean, if the wedding does happen, the party starts at three. Thanks. Emma. What happened to your hair? You're, you're, you're an idiot. So, um, I take it to change of plans. Wow. Where is the bride? Wow. Yeah, no bride, no groom. No bridesmaid either. Imagine if we'd gone through with it. What? How many years ago? Eleven. <laughs> I wonder what it would have been like. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Greg, Greg, I want to introduce you to an old friend of mine. Caitlin, this is my stepson, Craig. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Oh. What are you doing? Get, get out of here. <laughs> I was being polite. Who are you, me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby. I I... Hey, cute. Look Remember Caitlin? You. Oh, this is cool. Let me take a picture. No, no, you you get in the picture. I'll I'll get someone. Dean. Oh yeah. Dean, come here. Take a take a photo of us, please. Absolutely. Get in here, Craig. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so um, I may regret this, but uh, the reception. Hmm. Do you have a date? Nope. Do you want to go together? 
I do. How bad did your parents bust you? On a scale of one to 10, 136. Yeah, I'm grounded till doomsday. Me too. If I wasn't an usher, Kate wouldn't have let me out of the house. Hey. Oh, look who it is. You here to steal another one of our brilliant ideas, Craig? No. I'm here to tell you that someone very fancy just pulled up. Fancy? the groom? No, the bride. Christine does my hair. Oh, very good. Right this way. Oh, thank you. He gets lost easily. Allow me. Oh, no, thank you. No, me. No, really. <laughs> me. Okay. I'm really. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> Spike's just late, as usual. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Right? Oh, I just hope I can get my money back for the suit. Huh? Joey. Hey, are they here yet? Not yet. I'm glad you're here. Sorry about earlier. Sorry about the hair. Lucy, if it's humanly possible, could you please try and do something about this hair? Sure. Come on, Emma. I just can't understand how it happened. You were there. I mean, you're on the pill. Yeah, which is 98% effective. So we're just in the unlucky 2%. Great. Some couples would think of this as a blessing. It's too bad you're against kids. Hey, I never said that. How about yesterday? You said you have too much on your plate. Well, yeah, I do. I've got a lot going on right now. I'm, I'm moving in. I'm going to be a husband and a stepdad. And I've got a lot. A lot of adjusting. I know. But life doesn't wait for you to get adjusted, Snake. It just happens. I mean, look at Emma. She couldn't have come at a worse time. But was it a mistake to have her? No. I wouldn't trade her for anything. You're right. You're absolutely right. I believe there's a little one growing in there. There is. She or he is gonna be beautiful. So which one of us doesn't want to have this baby anyways? It is a bit late. They'll be here any second. Well, we have another wedding coming in here in an hour. I'm afraid if they're not here soon, we're going to have to reschedule. No, no, they'll be here, not to worry. Emma, they'll be fine, they'll make it. Christine Nelson, take Archibald Rupert Simpson to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. And do you, Archibald Rupert Simpson, take Christine Nelson as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Hey, 
Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Buddy. Pleasure, man. Connie, you made it. Oh, of course I made it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. This is my husband, Archie. Archie, huh? Honey, don't look like an Archie to me. Congrats. <laughs> Honey, is everything OK? Uh, no. What is it? I am, um, uh, how do I say this? Uh, Joey sort of arranged for a stripper to come to the stag. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it, it was fancy. Uh, Co Connie. <laughs> You're not mad. Fancy can do what she wants with her body. It's her business. <laughs> it's a relief. Wait a second. I'm cool with how Fancy makes her living. I sense a butt coming. But I'm not cool with my husband being one of those pathetic losers who goes to strippers. Especially when I know the stripper. Gross. <laughs> Point taken, never again. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if people find out? Well, they won't. It'll be our little secret. That's what you think. Girls. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's time to toss the bouquet. Come on. Who will be the lucky girl? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm the lucky girl! <laughs> Wicked catch. Sorry. What? It actually has to be caught by a girl. <sighs> but I had so many plans. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, would you mind uh, putting that down for me? Thank you. Do tell. I will, but uh, you have to dance with me first. Well, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> so demand. No, no. It was an average day, done in every way until, until the sun broke through. It wasn't in the sky, no. The light came from her eyes. She turned. Turn the gray sky blue On that cool September morning I saw her in the rain To me she was the moon The star to the world First she seemed confused I saw she wasn't sure My smile was meant for her I said can't help notice you And when you find out someone special You don't let them slip away So tell me what your name is She answered by saying just Jane Hey Hey Uh, it's a slow song and you're not dancing no one really caught my interest. Oh. How about now? I'd love to. Because of her.